is a consumer. Uh, another word, understanding of a land, Pastor Thompson, is fire. Fire is another land. Not so, Pastor. It's the devour it. It's if the reason why you send people into ground is you put them in graves. What you do there is for them to be eaten up. Let the land collect them. The land takes them. And the land uses them to mature. So what came out of their body has entered into trees. So there are many people that are listening to me that have become nutrients of the earth back. I hope I'm communicating. The bone turns the calcium after some longer time in the ground. It dissolves into the earth. So the earth knows how to distribute all the, what's up? All the elements that the body is made up of. It divides it and breaks it down and sends each into where they belong. This is wisdom. Is that not so? Shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. So when the earth, are you listening to me? When you bury someone into the earth, the head collected what he gave back and stored them in proportion. So it's clear. Uh, it means God took of the dust of the ground, made a man, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and he became what did he become? A living soul. So God created the body from the dust. From the dust you were taken, and that dust you will return. Are you listening to me? So it means God took everything needed in the body from earth. He did it. Is they all go back to your body. Even cloning that they are thinking of right now is the body. But why can't they go back to the soil? If they are creators. Cloning is imitation. It's not a creation. It's because you are still generating the same man. So who are you deceiving? I'm not afraid if you clone. You're just taking of somebody's substance and then developing it. The first, first person who did cloning was God. Huh? Huh? All these things they are saying, Genesis did them. Okay, God took out of the man, he took the soul of Eve. And then took the bone. Just that bone is enough to extract the DNA. Out of the bone, it develops a body. Inside that bone uh, is flesh of the woman. Inside the bone, hallelujah, the material necessary for the flesh, the carving, God just... There's a way God pull it up. It's only God that science will need to use machine gum, soon don't then. But Holy Ghost can act on a body. Holy Ghost came, God's hand. Those are the I call that the I call the mighty works of God. Mighty works of his hand. Hand like hand that made heaven and the earth. It's still the same hand. Are you listening to me? That formed the body. Those kinds of power. Now, the hand that made heaven and the earth, I hope I'm talking to you. I'm not hearing you. Is the hand that turned the body to flesh. That turned dust to flesh. Dust. God sculpted perfectly. Are you listening to me? Shout hallelujah. Flair, body. It's clay. Then, he first of all packed the clay, molded it. Later on, he just rubbed his hand on it. There was a transfer of energy that moved that sand 
into another state. There was something he did. There was something that happens. But he knew what to do. Those things are in his hand. With clay alone, you can't design nerves. With clay alone, you can't form tissues. With inward flesh. With clay alone, you can't you can draw out tendons, muscles, veins. Am I talking to you? Flow of blood. Are you getting me? Clay can't do that. But immediately he puts his hand, those things formed. Those things began to form. Are you getting me? In the body. Because God's hands was on it. Are you getting me? Then the, the body stood, laid on earth. Then he breathed into him. Then he became a living soul. He became a living soul. You see this our body? Kai. Are you seeing how the walk it up? God woke it up in Eden. I mean, he woke it up on, from the dust. Then in Eden, Adam was in Eden. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. God just tapped him one day, he slept. They now took his bone. Then they formed a woman. They formed. The woman was formed. The woman was made through that leap was a woman, not soul and spirit. The soul was made in chapter one. The soul spirit was made in chapter one. Chapter two, they don't need to go back to the doors to make the body. The husband has a flesh. Just take one of the rib. Everybody shout hallelujah. I love that word. Everyone say bone. All of you must shout that, sir. I'm not hearing you say it again. Whoa. Say it again, every one of you. Whoa. Someone say, okay, if it is one rib, the Bible is lying. Then the other should still be, one should be six, the other should be seven. Now, first of all, when they refer to, when they talk about rib, they talk about two things. The hidden woman. The woman inside of the man. Because Eve was not living outside Adam. When God made that body for Adam, Eve's flesh was inclusive. That flesh was expandable enough for Eve to dwell in Adam. So, soul, okay, man was like an amaphrodite. Two of them. We are living inside the body. It was calling. Then God now says it's not good for him to be alone. Let's remove the woman. So the rib was the woman dwelling in him. His, her spirit and her soul came out of him. Man is, if evil spirit can live in a man, can't his wife stay there? Pastor, my lie. If what, my brother? But what of the wife? The wife is a temple of his wife. Can't his wife stay in him? His wife can stay there. The wife's spirit can enter there. So God put the two of them in one body. A time came, they separated them. Is that, isn't that a wonderful separation? And when they set them apart, can we shout hallelujah? They now gave her her own body. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Amen. Father, we thank you. This is the mystery of the body. So... The woman is the body of the man. The man is the head of the man, woman. What do they mean? Say body. body. Say body. body. Meaning head. Are you here, Mimi? Say head. head. The house of the woman. 
is the man. The house of the woman is the man. Body means the completeness of the man is the woman. So, male, touch your body. Everybody, that's your wife. Your outward man is your wife. That's another mystery. Your outward man is your wife. So if any man beat his wife, anybody punching his wife, God forbid. Uh, now, hmm. so when you take body, when people die, the best place to bury them is where? Open the ground, put them back, or, or you set them up. Please, land is equivalent to fire. It's there in the Old Testament. Are you listening? When you are, look at me, when they buried Jesus' body, Jesus Christ is equivalent to the animal, the born the body outside the camp. So, body, hear me. When you take a body of an animal and you set it ablaze and turns into harsh, what does that mean, sir? What is harsh, every one of us? Dust. Dust to dust. Ashes to ashes. Now, dust is not sand. Please, sir. Dust is not what, sir? What is dust? The residue of sand. When nutrient is gone away. And the same with ash. Burning must have taken place. Are you getting me? Shout hallelujah. Burning must have what, my brother? Then what remaining? What do they burn? Oh, fire takes the necessary, the nutrients, and ash is what remains. So fire will leave ash for you. So can you tell me, who can tell me what is ash? Ask me. Background. The background, the foundation, where you pour what, my brother? You pour the nutrients of the body. What matters, what makes up the body, are you getting me? Is the, is the nutrients. But where they stay is in the ash. Add those things back to the ash, it will cease to be ash. Now, In biology, in chemistry, there is a kind of bacteria that works on body of living things. What do they call them, sir? It's a bacteria, nutrifying, the nutrifying bacteria. All it does, first of all, one of the things that escape to tell you what the body has, you've lost it, is to take nitrogen out of the body. So fire sends it off. Every, there are a whole lot of things in this your body. Things you see on ground are in the body. Yeah. 
Hear wisdom. Hear wisdom. Hear wisdom. This is, say, everyone say wisdom. How many of us know that fire has been burning us? Dust and what, my brother? And fire has been burning human being. Even before you are buried. So I'm not referring to when the body is lifeless. I'm talking about while the body yet lives. There is a burning taking place. So if I put fire in my body, if a man put fire in his bosom, what would happen to him? Shall he not be born? Now, the Bible says concerning sin, like fornication, it's better for a man to marry than to born. It's, it's, thank you so much. So somebody can be born in. If Satan wants to destroy this body, he will just put certain fire. And that is why fornication is evil, sir. One of the reasons why I, I, you should detest fornication, detest it in your mind. Detest fornication. You can, some fellow sleeps with a girl or a girl will sleep with a man. Don't, don't even engage with a boy once. When you are not married, but because, because you don't know the type of fornication fire he's carrying. That fire is not part and parcel of the body. It's not, it wasn't created with the body, it was introduced into the body. So that fire is actually the law of incrimination. Amen? Amen? Are we blessed? Yes, kind. Everybody shout hallelujah. So immediately that strange fire comes into the body, it will begin to burn the body. It will begin to burn the body. Smoking. Smoking is not as strong as fornication. Smoking destroys the body, not the way fornication does. I'm teaching you something. But smoking is also a destroyer. Too much of alcohol can also what my brother. When somebody is a wine biber, you're actually handling your anything destroying the body when it's too much. Anything in excess. Is destroying the body. I, I, I hope I'm teaching today. Yes, sir. Now, there are things that are not vile offense, but they destroy the body. Now, homosexuality does something to the body that human beings don't know. Let me just talk about fornication, how fornication affects the body. Nobody should say, Reverend, this is how I feel. I can't help my feeling. First of all, believe that's not you. No, it's an introduction. There's a way you can collect strange fire. And fire can dwell in your member for 30, de- for 30 years, three decades. Six decades. Fire can dwell in the body. Some people, that fire dwells in their body till they died. The fire of fornication is so powerful that it can enter into the gene of your body and can enter into the gene of your soul. So when you now give back to your child, Mm. 
That's why the, you see scripture warns us against fornication. So when you meet someone who is not your wife and you sleep on the same bed, you communicate together. And that's why even, even when you are not committing fornication physically, don't exchange thought <laughs> with somebody who is not your husband. Because fire can get transferred. Fire can't work, my brother. So don't even exchange emotions with someone who is not your husband, who is not your wife. Oh, I don't know how I'm feeling for him. Now, feeling, look at me, look at me, hear me, hear me. I want to teach you something, kids. You know what is called crutch? I had a crutch. You got a crutch on me. <laughs> I can't just help it. <laughs> Pastor Emeka, don't bring me for single, I beg you. Uh, no, please, I beg you. Don't, uh, please. Um. The Lord is telling me, this is the teaching that will deliver a lot of youth. Yeah. It will take the teaching of the resurrection of the dead to remove us from fornication completely. Yes. Completely. We will resist it. Yeah. You keep resisting it yeah. until you meet with everlasting life. Yeah. So, can I finish this message? You are bound, you will feel, you will feel for the opposite sense. You will, in fact, you can even travel. You can leave the spot where you are and you are gone for miles and you will lose your senses at times. If you will not very, very, very strong to call you back can be difficult. Someone say, What can I do against this feeling? I'm helpless. Uh, yes. Can I say something? Intimacy can develop. You can be, that's why I don't move too close to a person. Don't move too close to a person. When there is no definite relationship that should lead there. Yes, amen. Look at me. Look at me. Amen. Amen. You know, my, my wonderful. You know, I've never taught this kind of thing all my life to you. Have I? I only talk about angels. Tabernacle. <laughs> Can I say something? It's not my field. It's not my field, but, but it's like God is telling me I should do something. Let me just try. I'm trying. Everybody say amen. amen. I will tell you one of the things that will help you from falling over, but from falling over to over long or end long. It has happened to me. Maybe some men, it never happened to them. It has happened to me. I hope, I hope I'm talking to you. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. <laughs> but even though it happened, all of them, are you getting me? Except my wife. None of, listen to me, I fell in love with girls that are not my wife. So feeling in deep intimacy is not the answer. To marriage. Number one. Uh, someone will ask me why. Now because look at me. It takes more than your body. And your soul alone. 
to determine whom you are going to stay with. Because, listen to me, your soul power, your soul power, when not redeemed, are you getting me? His judgment may not last a winter. Because you can see a guy right now, there are many, many information about that brother that thou knowest not. And forget, listen, hear me, hear me. Please, please. There are many informations about the brother that you don't know. And that brother will not change one day because he can't change himself. It, it's going to take some time to change the brother. It will take leading, a lot of leading from the great shepherd of the sheep, the submission of the brother. So Holy Ghost knows all of us and look at your destiny. Check your path, check your soul. All of you are not wired the same way. So Holy Ghost will have to look someone who will, you will keep with in this journey that will not be a burden to you. So when, first of all, at this stage, wanting to choose a life partner, check your spirit. All the time, I went against my spirit. Even when, listen to me, I went against my spirit. When my heart is saying, love, 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 I'm dead, I'm gone, I'm gone, yeah. love, love. No, I don't think any of you can fall in love like I did. If that is what you call love. How many of you have gone crazy in love before? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> TJ. <laughs> it's not TJ. You may be surprised. A whole lot of people are here that are seated. All of them you see as your pastors. They have been, they've been in love before. They went crazy in love. Shout hallelujah. Let me not, Pastor Iola too has gone in love crazy. He nearly died. Shout hallelujah. So that it, two of them will not be alone. So let it be three. Pastor Kunle too has fallen in love. That one. I even know of that one. I have the record. Pastor Kunle one was so terrible. Kunle, can I say it? Just to make them laugh. Kunle was, Kunle was celebrating birthday. Instead, Kunle was celebrating the fiancé. Whom he didn't end up marrying. And Kunle was drunk that day. But I thank God for deliverance. That Kunle married Titi at the end. So, sir, don't, that love, that love thing, is nice. But it's not the gift of the spirit. It's, listen to me, is the, the character of the soul. That love is not, soul can be like that. There are things, we need to train our soul you can train your soul. 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 Immediately you can train your soul, you'll be free. You'll not be afraid. I'm sure some of you still have, and I'm not even saying, hey, God will just bring anything to you. <laughs> Maybe one brother that normally climbs, who doesn't bath? Satan will now, that is thy husband. In Jesus' name. Or some people can begin to cry. Eh? 
Pastor Thompson has testimony. Shout hallelujah. He understands this message very well. All of us, we've been through what... Are you seeing your things, your, your crushes? We, we, we went through all those things, seriously. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Some people did not fall in love once. They did it twice, some three times. So, Amen. Yes, I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm falling in love. I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, uh, and can I surprise you? You can fall in love. God can even allow you. Spirit, your spirit can allow you. And you can love the person. Your soul, it may be your soul choice. It can be your spirit choice. At times it can be your spirit choice and it's not your soul choice. At times it can be your soul choice and it's not your spirit choice. Now that is where you now know soul that are submissive. I for one, I believe that Joseph was not supposed to marry, Jacob was not supposed to marry Rachel. His real wife was Leah. Leah would have given back to those 12 children. Rachel went away. The person that stayed with her, final him, was Leah. That was his Leah. Now, but Jacob has a kind of soul design. He wanted to marry a girl. Say it again. Say it again. Like the way his father, grandfather, married there. They, 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 they both, the two fathers had beautiful wife. Rachel fell into the same category. So that thing about beauty, that thing about beauty, there's a way beauty is. And that thing about beauty is not Edenic. Hear me? It started from chapter 6. Of Genesis. Our judgment. Yeah, yeah, it started. Satan, hear me, look at me, hear me. I hope I'm talking to you. We began to see some people that are not fair. The first time they mentioned that women became fair was Genesis chapter 6. Look at me, there is no woman on earth that is not beautiful. Beauty contest. Are you seeing the beauty queens they parade around? To some of us, it's nothing. To me, it's not a beauty queen. Am I lying to you? That's not the beauty. It's not the slim thing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So the specs of beauties, the world design. And the one look, Satan can live. Is it beauty queen? They say beauty is satanic standard. I don't believe that Elohim will call a woman ugly. There is no woman on earth that is ugly. In their shapes, in their sizes. I'm teaching you something. Now, can I say something? All of you girls are pretty. All of you. None of you. Or every woman, I'm saying it. 
Now you have to go back to everlasting drawing. <laughs> you have to go back to what, my brother? That there are things. Hallelujah. I give praise to God. I give honor to Jesus. Oh, how mala cancer yana na tre and daba. There are things about us. There are things, many, 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 many judgments that are almost gone completely. I want to say something to you. Hear me. My daughters, there are some, some, some of you really look like ladies that are river on earth. But don't let that get into your skull. I want to say to something. I want to say, it will help you. And I will tell you, 85.86% of men will come for you. I'm talking reality because of how you look. Because you have that thing. I hope I'm talking to you. You have what is the, 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 the way the world has elevated physique. Can I say something? What makes a woman is more than an outward body. A woman at the hand, her beauty and her attraction is binet. What of the Chinese? What of the Japanese? If you, I'm sure some of you, they give you a Japanese, you won't look at them. Because you won't see anything. So, I want to thank you all. So, girls, if any brother comes, you are beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, you respect. God bless you. Don't let that word lift you. Don't let that word. Don't, don't let that word lift you out of your base. Don't be too light. Okay, and so what? And so what? At the hand, at the hand, some years into marriage, All those things, they win. Honestly, you won't believe that the guy you are over in love with, or the girl you think you can die, or Malicha. <laughs> you can hate. <laughs> And it, then men, you begin to desire the ones that are not fine. They call they are not fine, so to say, because you will now see some other things you are not done seeing before. I will tell you something about the gift of your wife. My wife look beautiful every day. When I'm looking at my, I'm seeing things. I was a car, sweet, pretty thing. You are. Look at your nose. 
She will not tell her it's because of Ojo and you, Olani. Tell her, tell her. <laughs> this lady. <laughs> hey, she like, and, uh, you know my wife. <laughs> I said, I said, who am I? I'm a fool. I will say to her, I said, don't mind this. Me, stupid, only me, open, give me a word. Nonsense, my word. Am I communicating to you? Because I have what is called so called my speck. But that was in my speck. It's a speck they arranged for my soul. That God has to crumble down, crush it. Then I'll wake up and say, I said, look at the way you are here. At the way it's time, me. But but I'm shaking. Emo, 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 Jerry. You know your mommy has mouth. <laughs> Honestly speaking, God is my witness. I see things. I see a young girl who is not getting old. I know my wife at 65, she'll be elegant. I know it. God, tells, God told me, say, you see, she'll be me on short day. I'm not a fool. I gave you a pretty girl. As you are growing, she's young, getting younger and younger. I said, Baba God, thank you. Baba God. How many of you want to thank Baba God? Praise God. So, brothers, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> say it again, everybody. <laughs> Can we say it again? <laughs> the way they are talking, your pastor is me, they are face troubles. How many of us will calm down? Don't think Reverend does not know. You don't know me. Do you know me 25 years ago? You know, when I see some boys, I know the aspect. That just by seeing you, I know what you can like. Even the way you arrange your hair, the way you do your face, the way you... Um, this is a boy I know. Uh, 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 I know the way this one is going. You know, uh, I said, this is a weapon. At times, when I see some guys, I know... Uh, I, at times I can, you know, I can play with you. I can eat you. I know you. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. hallelujah! And I know the kind of girls you like in fellowship. <laughs> at times when you are doing your highlights, I'm watching you. <laughs> I know where the highs are. <laughs> One of my sons, some years ago, came into my house, want to pick a guy. I said, it's not for you. Uh, he said, Daddy, why? I said, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I, used, I laugh, but I was staring. I said, you there is a spirit behind this one. It's not of God. I know what you are looking for. I know what you are looking at, and I know what you are considering. This is not your babe. Later on, I call him, this is your baby. <laughs> I sure he didn't do what they sleep. Reverend Lee. I don't choose baby. Don't come to me for baby. I don't. Don't. don't, don't. Uh, I don't know. Why are we saying all these things, sir? <laughs> Pastor, am I on the right track, Pastor? So you can, okay, tomorrow or next tomorrow. Yes. 
please every woman should be in this meeting every woman in Egypt if you are my daughter attend this meeting it's good for you it's good we are all learning I'm learning I don't know much as a I'm learning I'm learning marriage marriage is older than the church marriage is about 4,000 years older than the church how many of you know that even some unbelievers walk in the spirit more than some believers they know how to choose the right wife instinct how about no look at her oh this is the spirit they have wisdom. Yeah. So, uh, God also has blessed the natural nature. Because marriage, if marriage is scattered, humanity is gone. Yeah. How many of you know that the Bible is marriage? Yeah. Everything here is husband and wife. Uh, you want me to prove it to you? Amen. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. We give you praise. Father, I worship you. How many of you like what I'm saying? So girls, sisters, don't think you are more beautiful than the other person. Will you be free? Don't ever. What makes you beautiful is your meek spirit. Your quiet spirit. Ornament of meekness. Don't I beg you, don't ever think you're a, you're a terrible speck. <laughs> Is it that thing you, you think you have? There are yet babies unborn. Yes. Boys! Boys! Yes. Boys! Yes. Boys! Boys! Yeah. And don't, boys, don't think that you're a bad guy or you are tough. Don't be a ladies' man. Be one lady man. Don't think you are too much. No boy is too much. These things are our pride. So don't come put your pride in your outward man. Don't be a fool by how you look. I'm destroying something. How many of you are confident that you are handsome? Let me see your hand up. Honestly. I didn't know how you... Amen. Wait, wait. Hallelujah. I don't know how you... I didn't know how you escaped that. Kai! Edge of a sword. I will have captured you. Just no saying. Ah! 
I'm about to say one again. This is resurrection of the dead thought. Can I say it? Can I say it? Should I say it? Girls. I want to destroy something. You know, every mountain shall be, every hill shall be one, and every tree shall be one, and then hill, level, level, valley shall be, I don't want to talk about crooked ways, but let's just say what happens, huh? <laughs> valleys, one and so, say girls. I know you, every lady, nearly all women like tall boys. Celebrate on it. Celebrate. Three. Many of you like three of righteousness. <laughs> Tall boys, not so. Pastor Tope. <laughs> oh yeah, walk around. Let me see how tall boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I say something to you, ladies? I, how many of you love part of Pastor Tope here? Put your hands down. Shout hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Tope, stand up. Let me see your hand. Walk around, Tope. Okay, go back to your seat. There is no difference. And I, I, want, I want you to love, change your heart. Turn your heart to like any physique. Can you turn your heart? Train your heart with everlasting life. <laughs> Reverend, turn the heart. Are you listening to me? Cut down. Can, is it possible? To cut down your cedars of Lebanon. Let me bring down your trees. Don't envisage six footer. When you are marrying, start from. <laughs> now, it is here. You know, I've never been talking about all this kind of thing. It is now I will know. Maybe you love the Lord or you don't love the Lord. Some say, ah, hey, EGFM. I'm leaving EGFM. I'm going to Koza. What, what makes a man is not the height. It's the content. Heart. 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 That's where the beauty is. Look at my face, my daughters. Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. I'm just, some of you are putting your eyes down, heads down. I'm watching you. I'm seeing you. Love, I want you to prepare your heart. If you wish, pray for your, husband, your man. Lord, I want someone I will take care of. Someone who will love you to the utmost. You know, at times you can be sincere. God, you know, I like six footer. But I don't mind five eight. And if, look at me, every one of you. Look at, and if your spirit, uh, Lord, if, I can manage five six. And I will love him very much. Only go, go, supposing I will surprise you with a beautiful five four. Uh, look at you. 
Uh, look at it. Uh, five four. Have you seen five four? Five oh four. Have you seen five four? Tough. Hmm. What is in a man? The beauty of a man is not the height. Just grow small. You know that height is nonsense. It's this flimsy, wicky, vain is where we, we make mistake and cost ourselves. You know, you, you know some girls, some of us, anything, a lot of things can attract you. You are designed a lot from a man. You are designed to pull towards a man. But you must control yourself. At times you like a guy with baritone voice. Just come around him. Talk about him. Because she's well loaded. She's a woman. We're a woman. Oh, how are you been to understand? Your leg is going to kill him. Come on. Please, have you been able to help me see this person? Are you talking about all the guys in the group right now? I, I don't know about that. Tall with that voice. <clears throat> no, none that there is no problem. I can just know that to take you there. It's then. Nonetheless, there's no problem to take you there. Vice versa, there is nothing that can bring right to take you there over there. <laughs> Lord, laugh aloud. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of you are saved today? <laughs> One thing with me, I can disappoint you when I'm not under the anointing. <laughs> I don't even know. I will just be dumbfounded. When I'm not there, I'm not there. Praise God. Amen. Praise God, Sam. Finally, so everlasting, uh, I'm talking about the, when you in, put fire in the body, there are different kinds of fire that can actually, but fire have actually worked on our bodies and has taken things from the body. Different fires. They've stolen from us. Yeah. New trends, the original body, things have been taken from it. Those everlasting kind of body that Adam had in Eden, even to the body, even things were stolen from that body. So the, pastor, the body was no longer firm to endure yeah. everlasting age. 1,000 years for a soul spirit that is dead. It's kind, powerful. That soul must be powerful. But when the soul lost it, the body began to come down. I wanted to see the drop from 1,000 to 120. Because soul was the throne. The soul was the throne. So if God is going to help men, I want to show you something. People like Adam, Abraham, Abraham, they, they 
understood some secret of the resurrection of the dead. Obedience is that they carried out involve a lesson of everlasting life and God brought adhesive into the assistant back. It was a collection of those things back into the body. So for the so you can now say that an exif and things that were stolen can now be equivalent to the strength of testimony. Conversation of everlasting life kind. You know that of Adam can never be compared to that of Enoch. It's a different generation. So what God did to, with them, praise the Lord, was awesome. God trained them. God helped them. God led them. There can never be a restoration of flesh without leading. It is in the leading of the spirit we collect. And let me tell you, especially the realm of the holy of Holies, realm of the holy of holies, realm of the holy of holies. God will help us. God will strengthen you to do obedience there. Realm of the holiest. Check all the apostles. They didn't die sick. Not because they didn't, they used faith. They got some, to somewhere. They walk on their body. They collected their substance back. Or in other words, they receive their body. Yes, sir. They inherited the earth. Oh, no, no. So there are certain things about earth that was going away. Thank you. That's why it would take the meek because the meek is he who is beautified with salvation. It would take the meek to be led. Hallelujah. So that that thing that was taken, say that thing that was taken. So like I said, just hear me, I finish now. Immediately, fire comes on different, all manner of fire had come on our body and taking age from us, taking season from us. This body is weak. The body is weak. But by the reason of the things you are hearing, apply your heart and rejoice. Apply your heart and rejoice. Apply your heart and rejoice. And rejoice in this thing your bones shall rejoice. Amen. I hope you won't forget what I've just said. I say your bones shall rejoice. Amen. I say your bones will rejoice. Amen. It will take the power of God to stop the fire. I was explaining something about fornication, what it does to the body. Now, fornication does not just only weaken the cell physically. It also weakens the wheel of the body and the wheel of the soul. That's why he that committed adultery destroyed his own soul. To destroy your soul, the word destruction means render useless. You are wrecking it, you are tearing it, you are weakening it. That's why you shouldn't even engage in that game. Don't, we shouldn't commit it. Let it not be in one's name among us because it's a direct assault to your building. It's a direct assault to our building. He said that now there is a way a, 
a fornicator thinks. Not so, sir. The thought of the fornicator is the fire of the fornicator. Cut off that thought. So, especially now, these kids, you know what I'm talking about? The internet, design it, and so on. You know, like in abroad, they, they set kids on fire. Teach them to go out there and explore fire. Sex is fire. Sexual passion is fire. You need to do it, you need guidelines. You need things. They need to put barricades around you. So that when that fire begins to burn, it can be contained. A fire, sexual fire should burn well. There's a way, when fire, fire is useful, fire can burn a house. The same fire that will criminate the whole house the same fire will lit the house and warm it and keep, and keep it. So, sex is a fire of the soul. It's a passion of fire in the soul that is meant to fuse husband and wife together. That's why you shouldn't practice. It's not a friendship handshake. It's an exchange of power. It's a move of your soul. It's the transference of persons. If a pastor commits fornication with an adult, he's joined to her. So it means sex can weld two people. Sex can well to people. So that's why contents of marriage is the guard around that fire. So that it will not on it will not burn anyhow. There's a way we curtail the fire and direct it, instruct it. There's a way you use fire. You can use fire to cook for everybody in your house. And your only your household will eat. But at the same time, I can open the fire and make it destructive. Burn the whole house. Burn your children. Burn all your belongings. Incriminate your CVs. And the house you build, your house, you will come out only you without anything. Even, even the shirt you are having, it will still be stained or something like that. So, I beg you. That's why. Can I say something to you? My children, prepare yourself. Just prepare yourself for marriage. If you are not up to a marriageable age, don't let that passion disturb you. All I'm saying to you, when you get to a place, are you getting me? You know. Marriage is calling you. Begin to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the man. Prepare your body. is holy. Men, prepare your body for your wife. You are supposed to be both chaste. Prepare yourself. I want to just say something. Don't get into an emotional game. And you know, before you know, you are kissing each other. I didn't know. We just came and we went far. We didn't know the time we are smooshing and touching. No, 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 no. I'm in love with him. No. Grow stronger than that.
Are we blessed today? How many of you like what I've just said? Father, we thank you. I worship your name. I know somebody is asking me questions. Somebody wants to ask me questions. One of the young ones, I want to let you know, God is concerned about you. God is concerned about you. God is concerned about you. God is concerned. Ah, I pick a question in the spirit. Maybe you have men who are pressuring you and they are not, some of them are unbelievers, some of them are not serious. They just wanted a relationship. You don't know how to resist them. Their pressure is too much. And your mind runs a wire. I'm picking a question. Very easy. The only answer I'll give to you is, can you shut down that workshop? Just close it. And follow God. You won't lack husband. Can I say something to you? Look at yourself. Look, all of you, look at yourself. You see that you are many. Many boys are here, isn't it? Many girls are here. Eh? And there are those ones who are to come. I'm lying to you. So don't, don't even worry. You are still young. Use this time to learn. <laughs> By the time you marry, when small boy begin to cry in the night, you won't be able to meditate. This is, is it the fire? Is it this, is it this your fire? It's healthy. This is your fire for God. Use it. Burn it for God. Burn your energy. When, is it when you use your fire for God, there will not be fire left. For other things. One man said, Leon is a new Reverend Hill said, if there is more fire on the pulpit, there will be less fire in hell. Yes. That is, if the pulpit is burning with holy fire, there will be less fire in hell. Burn holily. Burn. You are supposed to be a seraphim for God. Born for him. Born for him. And the Lord will grant you grace. Yeah. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for making us reach five. Lord, we thank you for blessing the body. Thank you for the prophecies. Thank you for the word. Thank you for help. O Mekera, O Mekera, Dana, O Levita Keritosiki. O Meregate Creator, Elias Karana. Entrance, take a look. Akrinoka, Telidani. Arabat. You will help us. You will raise us. You will raise us. You will bless us. You will lift us up in our spirit, in our soul, in our body. Father, take, take them home. Yeah. Your grace will cover them. Yeah. Your ministering spirit will guide them. Yeah. Father, we thank you. They will be saved from hoodlums. Yeah. They will be saved from the peril. Yeah. Psalm 91 is their covering. Yeah. Father, you will bless this one. Yeah. All what we have discussed today, none of them will fall short of it. Yeah. You will bless them with life. Yeah. They will comprehend more of abundant life. You will bless their day. You will bless their evening. Yeah. My father, they will wake up tomorrow strong yeah. and better. They will not aspire. Yeah. Instead, Lord, they will be strengthened. Yeah. They will remain. Yeah. They will remain. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. How many of you want to give your offering? It's good we give offering. Don't go, don't go. Can you silently give your offering? Don't rush out.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor Moses, you want to say something? All our meetings have resumed. Our amen. Uh, you'll be hearing feedbacks from the messages they will be sending on the info site and info place. Please just uh, be in touch. Hallelujah. Readings resume as usual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we through with your offering? Father, we thank you. Bless this offering. It will speak. It will be a seed that is sown to waters. They will reap everlasting life. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom, everyone. Shalom. Peace. Uh, no revelation hour on Saturday. Eh? Okay, sisters meeting. Sisters meeting, no revelation hour on Saturday.